Fellow collectors, kids of all ages, and uh, samurai lovers, you guys will love this if you love samurais. If you have never gotten one of these, um, try to find one. They're made by Did. Now, there are two versions. I ha These are the international versions, and then there's uh, another version which has more stuff in the box, and they're harder to come by. They're more expensive, of course, and uh, these suit me fine for what I wanted them. I bought these in 2009. They were not expensive. I'm assuming now they probably jumped up a little bit, but not too much. You still can find the international versions for a very reasonable price. Um, let's get into the box. The box. When you open the box up, uh, it's just one flap over and then you'll get a story of the general. You'll see it in the background. There's like a little scroll thing going on. And it says Japan Samurai there and then it'll give you the, the name of the, of the character that's in the box. And then it'll give you a story and of course it gives you a, um, a year and the time of whoever was a shogun and all that good stuff and who they worked for and what kind of general he was. You know, really a great story, concise, nothing too crazy. And that's the box. The, po the boxes do have some great pictures of the character. You know, the figure that you're buying. Now, let's get into the figures themselves. The figures themselves are about two to three pounds heavy and I'm very serious about that the art the outer armor is made out of metal I'll just give you a little like sound test like let's look at the guy with the big horns here like you had to put that together the helmets are made out of metal the, de the decorative pieces on each helmet representing that particular general is amazing even the fan the general with the fan each one of these are it's made out of metal like, I don't know if you can hear that, it sounds like a, a harp. But anyway, um, it's just beautiful. The swords of, like, they're made of metal, even this, like, war fan, you know, the sword, whatever the flag that they use. I'm sorry about that, the hand <laughs> indication. But it's just amazing. Like, they're, they're awesome. I always use that word, awesome. But I, that's the only way to describe these figures. They're just that terrific. Um, they're just layers and layers upon clothing on these guys the the swords made out of metal there's just so much detail now each individual figure does come with two helmets one action expression in mouth open and the other one you know serious and um mouth closed and they all have rooted hair which is it's a plus for me it just gives it a little bit more authenticity I don't know the character you know the long hair that you know it's really cool now not the best paint job you know not like what we have now you know with hot toys doing what they do now and, and a lot of um, customizers painting heads so you could always use that second head if you ever get one of these and have it repainted I mean and then just set them up and, and you can do, you know, some kind of like uh, Japanese uh, mafia guy, you know, Yakuza, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. And uh, do yourself a kit bash because of the hair. Just, they really look that cool. It's a sick head sculpt. I mean, really, they're, they're awesome. But back to the figures. The, um, I don't know, man. It's just, when I have these displayed, they just look so great, guys. Uh, I'm telling you, they... If you love samurais, you love the martial arts, um, these are awesome. These are just terrific. The, the colors are just like, boom, so bright. And uh, they just represent, you know, like this fearsome, uh, you know, like leader. You know, each one of them. Especially my favorite is the one in the middle, dead center. He is my favorite figure. Out of all five of them, I can tell you. I mean, they, they're, they're awesome, all five of them. But that one in the middle just looks like he's a leader of all those guys. <laughs> but um, the clothing, I can't tell you the level of detail on the fabric. It's really beautifully done. Everything is done. Now, these figures are very delicate. You're not going to get... Let's get into a little bit of articulation. I'll explain to you. You can't open their legs, you can't really, you know, 
bend your knees, you know, turn the hips, uh, the upper chest area, you're not gonna be able to get a great turn. The elbows are very restricted in the shoulders because if you do some craziness, you're gonna just tear something. I mean, they're very, uh, you know, they're very durable. Believe me, you can hold them in your hand, you can shake them around, but it's just that they won't hold the pose. That's the thing, you can't hold the pose. You're not gonna get very crazy uh, poses out of these figures. They're not gonna be the ones that you want to in your display case and say, okay, look at those, man, look at that cool pose, you know. It doesn't work that way with these figures. These figures are not like that. They're meant more, you know, stand there and look pretty. Um, yeah, you can do like an, a sword holding, you know, uh, have them holding the sword and doing different uh, variations, but you're not going to get the real excite, excited uh, excitement out of posing these figures. So that's a nil. That's the downside of these figures. But to have them to look at the level of detail that you get, this is some like custom shit right here. I don't know how they put this together, and I've never ever could have imagined taking these things apart because there's like no way of putting these shits back together. I mean, these, <laughs> that's how crazy these things are. But um, the headdress, the, their helmets are, <laughs> excuse me, are made out of metal. It's just, it's just amazing. Every, every samurai here just has some spectacular, cool thing about them. I can't tell you, um, you really have to have them in your hand. Like, for instance, uh, those shoes there. Out of all of them, they're all wearing like these, you know, the regular sandals, you know, whatever. But those are like furry, they have fur on them. They Just crazy. And then I love the hair again, like I said before, the hair is so cool on them. It's just terrific. So, I just wanted to share with you guys my collection. These are five of them. Uh, I mean, well, these are five, but... I think these are it. These are the five that did make. Now, did was making some crazy stuff when they started with this. I mean, this is what I love about did. They really go out all the way with their figures and not super expensive. You know, you're never talking about, you know, breaking the $250 barrier. You know, these stay under always. You know, hundred. When I got them, they were always a hundred, a hundred and twenty. You know, and then you look at them and you go like, "Holy shit! Like, this is really cost this much. This is this is amazing. It should have cost a lot more." So basically, you do get great value for what you pay for. I mean, this is what I like. This is I open it up and I'm like, "Okay, I expect you know to get from my money this great item." You know, it's like when you, you know, it fucks you up, really, in the reality. When you open up a Hot Toys some, or Intubay quality control shit, and you go, I can't believe I paid this much money for this kind of a figure. You know, whereas, you go open these up, and you go, wow. <laughs> you know, I think I've, I, they're underpriced. You know, now nowadays, these are, are probably a little more expensive, but not too bad. You can catch one or two of them. The very hard one to catch right now, I mean, if you can find them, is this guy in the middle. If you can find them under two, you did good. Because right, right now, like, he is like the hardest one to find. And um, yeah, the other ones, you can, you can, you can get them. And, and remember, guys, if you ever pick these guys up, make sure you check them, open them up, because Things come off of them, and uh, they're made out of metal. They're very fragile, so, you know, just be very careful. Anyway, enough rambling. Thank you for watching. These are my exciting samurais. I love this set in the collection, and uh, you guys keep collecting, keep doing your thing. Sub if you haven't sub. Please like if you like the video, and that will always encourage me to keep making videos and talking about figures in one six scale relation because this is what I love. This is where I love to be at. 12 inch figures, high end level figures. And of course, now I'm into the one quarter scale, which is dangerous. And I'm waiting for Intubay to do the Robocop. Oh my God. All right, boys and girls. Now nah, let me get my voice back. You know how I say, I know you don't like me, but you like my style. Peace.